Okay, welcome back again everyone. Um, I've got another job, hopefully it's a quick one. Um, this is this jump ring maker again. Um, the trouble he's having now is the depth of cut. The blade doesn't sit um, out far enough. It sits that way and he cuts the jump rings, but there's no adjustment for the blade to come like the depth of cut. So what they need is this section here cut out uh, one millimeter deep. I don't want to go too much more because um, if you have a look inside there, there's a washer and it'll actually hit on that. So I need to probably take one millimeter off. You can see the blade. I don't know if you can see that. The blade just doesn't sit proud enough. So what I'll do, I'll set this up in the um, milling machine and we'll square it all up and then we'll take a cut just with an end mill or something. All right, we'll head to the mill. Okay, let's set it up in the vise now. I've taken an actual grinder out of it. So I'll make sure everything's clean. So we're doing it. It's not a super critical job, but it's always good to keep things clean. Okay. So it should square up this way, all right. Keep it up a bit. What I'll do is I'll use a parallel just on there, and then I'll stick a dial indicator on it, and I'll indicate that. That'll give me this level here to make sure that's square as well. Still by eye to start with. Okay, we'll see how close I got it by eye. Okay, it's a bit high that side. Just hit by a fraction. Okay, I'll just put a, the collet chuck in the mill. Just make sure we get wiped down and clean. And the end mill I'm going to use is just a um, 12 millimeter end mill. So I'll just use a 12 millimeter collet.
Okay, that should be all it takes. Taking the burrs off it. This is um, called a deburring tool. And you should do inside holes as well as you can do straight edges as well. Okay, it's all been um, milled and I've taken all the burrs off it as well. So we'll fit it back together. Hopefully that'll give us enough clearance. Probably see the blade if I can get it in the right angle. Somewhere. There you go. See the blade sitting up. It's sticking out plenty now. And it's not rubbing on the washer that's on the inside. Alright, this job's all finished. So thanks for watching.